Hi, Sydney Williams again. Welcome back for another uh, Flash of Fear. Uh, this is a piece called Pilgrim, and it originally appeared in a magazine called Heater uh, a few years back. It is a little bit different for me. I'm wearing a different hat uh, in this story, if you will, maybe more of a fedora in that it's a bit of detective fiction, uh, but it also edges into the horrific uh, and so let that be a bit of a trigger warning. This has uh, at least the description of some graphic violence that's uh, resulted. So I uh, want to make you aware of that up front. And uh, without further ado, this is Heater by me. When he finally found the address amid the cookie cutter townhomes, the body on the bed reminded Raskin of a print he'd seen in a gallery. Somewhere Lily had dragged him when he was still trying to be what she wanted. A Magritte called the Pilgrim, the wall card had said. The canvas showed a man in a suit and a derby hat with the face floating off to the side, leaving an absence where the face should have been. Face didn't float on the guy in front of him. It was gone. The absence where it belonged, filled with blood spatter all black and red, looking like an erratic rendering of a head above the pajama collar. Why is she still here? Raskin asked a uniform. Sobs racked the woman in the pale, blood-spattered negligee, her hair a tangled mop, her face raw from the sting of tears, waves of them. The chill from the night air through the open window wasn't helping either. Not my husband. Not my husband. She doesn't want to leave his side. Find another room for her. As one uniform guided her away to await a victim counselor, another took Raskin into the townhome's small living room. A guy in a dark suit with no tie sat staring at the wall. Or at nothing, disheveled. What the hell did he want? Raskin asked. He's babbling. He had a bottle of pills of some kind in his pocket with the labels missing. Not sure if he's reacting to a prescription or what. No ID on him. Raskin sat in an armchair facing the guy. What's your name? After a second of looking blank, something clicked. Tyner. Paul Tyner. What do you do? Jewelry merchant rep. I travel, do trunk shows. I, I carry a lot of valuables. That why you had the shotgun? Earlier, a uniform had held up the sawed-off 12-gauge that had turned the guy in the bed into the Magritte, cut at the barrel and stock, compact and tidy with black electrical tape on the grip. You need extra precaution. I'm licensed for the 38. That hadn't turned up yet. So what's going on here? She was cheating. That's your wife. I wasn't good enough. No matter how I tried, I wasn't dashing enough for her. Not romantic. She hated I was always on the road. A weariness sucked energy from Raskin's chest. Another one of those stories. He'd been there. You can't be something you're not, he said, prompting. No, can't all be Blake Childs. Guy in there, she met him in a dance class. So you came home, found them, another nod. Try my best to keep her happy. Raskin had tried that with Lily. Finally, he'd admitted to himself he was a cop and not much more. He couldn't make himself the Renaissance man she needed. He felt for this guy in a way. Guy must have been pretty comfortable here. Brought his pajamas. Moving right in. My house. Had trouble at the front door. Hands shaking too bad. Looked in the window. Saw two people in bed. Went back to the car. Then you came in the window with your shotgun. That's how it happened. Found a car at the corner. His keys fit. Uniform back in the living room doorway. 
There's a case in the trunk of 38 plus a wallet with credentials for Paul Tyner. Okay, let's get him downtown once the counselor's finished with his wife. Sir, I don't, I don't think she's his wife. I think that's what she's saying. What? Tyner's address on his license is a block over. This place checks out as the address of a Steve Parsons. That explains what she keeps muttering, what she's trying to tell us. This guy's not her husband. Raskin thought of another Magritte in that gallery, a picture of a pipe that said, this is not a pipe, only in French. Townhouses in this neighborhood all look alike, the uniform said. I had trouble finding this one myself, Raskin said. Guess this guy Parsons lost his head for being something he wasn't. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll be back with another one of these in a while. So uh, subscribe if you like, and uh, join us once again for a flash of fear.